Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Hydrogen Day with JCB. Got Mark from the engineering team that has been working on hydrogen. Mark, we're stood next to the refueling unit here. What's really exciting about this is this is closing the loop for how we actually deliver hydrogen onto site and how we can make hydrogen machines just like diesel machines in its operation, isn't it? Yes. Tell me about what we've got here and the capabilities of this particular refueling hydrogen unit. Yes. So First of all, we looked at what customers do with diesel today. Yep. So our machines off highway construction, it's very expensive to move them. Yep. So the fuel is always brought to the machine. So we wanted to mimic that and started to reproduce that. Again, to start that hydrogen value chain to show customers, look, hydrogen comes on site, it's mobile and it's fast to refuel. So behind you, Peter, here is our hydrogen bowser. And inside here, we've got a high pressure storage of hydrogen, yep. which we use to refuel the machines quickly, cleanly, safely, and also on the move. It's mounted on our off-highway vehicle. Yeah, yeah, good, JCB, good, good. JCB yeah. Fast Track to yeah. support our quarry development here at Wardlow Quarry. But this can also be demounted, and you can imagine it being put on small trucks and being moved about. It's scalable in terms of its size. And as I said, it's starting to unlock that, that value chain to make customers more familiar with the fuel that it's the same as currently refueling diesel today, if not safer and cleaner. And we can refuel in a matter of minutes, folks. I've already done some refueling with a backhoe loader and it is literally simply plug it in and off it goes. What's really exciting about this is this allows us to do that final mile. So we've got hydrogen coming in in ever big quantities, haven't yes. we, as the technology for transporting hydrogen gets better. You were saying to me earlier about almost a ton mm. of hydrogen can now be on a sort of HGV lorry. Yes. We've got the, the green hydrogen coming through from the likes of Australia and India and different places around the world where we're actually using solar panels, we're using wind mm. to produce mm. that hydrogen. And now we've got the solution that says we can bring it all the way through. And folks, we've got a hydrogen powered load all here that can actually take this off the back of it stack it up and have its own hydrogen supply, but doing that using hydrogen. It all kind of works yes. now in this chain, isn't it? Yes. And it's only going to get bigger, isn't it? Yeah, it's only going to get better. As, as we see, for our machines, they, they are working in remote sites. Remote yeah. sites means something away from large power sources where you can have you know infinite amounts of power to charge things. So for our perspective, our industry needs this mobile fuel. And in this case, as we move forward to 2030, 2035, we need to reduce our, our CO2. So that's why we're using the zero carbon fuel. But as you said, absolutely right. This is starting to unlock that, that value chain. And up, up at the top end, the production side, we've already seen products you've, you, projects, you've mentioned them in certain countries where large scale green hydrogen will be produced at scale. And this allows us to unlock that specifically for our off-highway industry. And if we are to get to the road to zero, or the off-highway road to zero, especially the national highways targets of 2035, we're going to have to get this rolling, and this is all being tested now. It is working. The machines are working. They're getting refueled. We've seen that today. So this is one of the most important, crucial parts of the hydrogen journey, getting the hydrogen to the end users. Thanks very much, Mark. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>